Hello my dear students. Today we can study about the process of respiration. So what is the difference between respiration and breathing? We know breathing is the process of taking in oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide. And respiration is the process of releasing energy from the food. That is uh, the, uh, oxygen will break down the food to release energy. That process is called respiration. And there are two types of respiration. Aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration. And this aerobic respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen and anaerobic respiration takes place in the absence of oxygen. So the first step for both aerobic and anaerobic respiration is same. So now we can look what is the first step for this respiration. And the first step is glucose. We know glucose C6H12O6. So glucose contains 6 carbon. So breaking down of 6 carbon compound glucose to a 3 carbon compound. Pyruvate. Pyruvate is also called as pyruvic acid. So what is the first step? Breaking down of 6 carbon compound glucose to a 3 carbon compound pyruvate or pyruvic acid. And this process is called glycolysis. So what is glycolysis? It is the process of breaking down of glucose to pyruvate. And this first, this is the first step in respiration, both aerobic and anaerobic respiration. And this first step takes place in the absence of oxygen. So this is taking place in the absence of oxygen. And we know this respiration is taking place inside the cell. So, so there are so many parts inside this cell. And this step is taking place in the cytoplasm of the cell. So where is it taking place? It is taking place in the cytoplasm of the cell. Okay. Now we can look what is the second step. So first step is same for both aerobic and anaerobic respiration. But second step is different for both aerobic and anaerobic respiration. So in aerobic respiration we can look what is the second step. So first step is glucose to pyruvate and it takes place in the absence of oxygen and it is taking place in the cytoplasm. Then the second step in aerobic respiration is that this pyruvate then breaks down into carbon dioxide plus Water plus energy. Okay. So what is the second step in aerobic respiration? Pyruvate is broken down into carbon dioxide, water and energy. And here more amount of energy. Around 38 ATP molecules are produced. And energy produced is stored in the form of ATP molecules. That is adenosine triphosphate. Last year you have studied, it is the energy currency of the cell. So energy is stored as ATP molecules. So here in the aerobic respiration, more amount of energy is produced. And this takes place in the presence of oxygen. So in aerobic respiration, this step needs oxygen. And this step is called Krebs cycle. Okay, so first step is called glycolysis and the second step is called Krebs cycle. And first step takes place in the cytoplasm of the cell. But the second step takes place in the mitochondria of the cell. That is why you know mitochondria is known as the powerhouse of the cell. So why this energy is released in the or produced in the Mitochondria. So it is known as powerhouse of the cell. So second step is taking place in the 
mitochondria of the cell. Okay. So, this is about aerobic respiration. Here, glucose is completely broken down into carbon dioxide, water and energy. Okay. Now, we can look uh, what is the second step in anaerobic respiration. So, in anaerobic respiration also, first step is what? Broken, uh, breaking down of glucose into pyruvate. Three carbon compound glucose is broken down into six carbon glucose molecule is broken down into three carbon compound pyruvate. Then we can look what is the second step in this anaerobic respiration. So, in anaerobic respiration, second step also, first step takes place in absence of oxygen. Second step also takes place in the absence of oxygen. And here this pyruvate is broken down into ethanol and carbon dioxide. So what happens in the second step? Ethanol, carbon dioxide and energy is produced. And here in this anaerobic respiration, Less amount of energy is produced. That is only about 2 ATP molecules are produced in this anaerobic respiration. So, less amount of energy is produced in anaerobic respiration. And this takes place in the absence of oxygen. And this is taking place in the cytoplasm. Okay. So, second step is also taking place in the cytoplasm. And we can see this anaerobic respiration in some unicellular organisms like yeast and some bacteria. And this we can see in the yeast cell. So in yeast, uh, what happens in second step? That is during anaerobic respiration, what happens? Pyruvate is broken down to ethanol, carbon dioxide and energy. And it takes place in the absence of oxygen in the cytoplasm. So these organisms, yeast and some bacteria, don't want uh, oxygen for respiration. So they can live without oxygen. Okay. Then we can look uh, what happens in our body. In our body, mainly which respiration is taking place? Aerobic respiration is taking place. But sometimes... When we are working continuously or during some vigorous physical exercise, what happens? Our muscle cells will be working continuously. Blood will be supplying oxygen to the muscle cells and uh, that oxygen will be used for uh, breaking down food to release energy. But the availability of oxygen will not be sufficient for releasing more energy. So, muscle cells need some more extra energy. So, to get this extra energy uh, during some physic, uh, vigorous physical exercise, uh, the muscle cells will undergo anaerobic respiration. Normally, all our cells uh, uh, get oxygen and we need only that much oxygen. We get energy and we can do our works. But uh, during vigorous physical exercise or when we are working continuously, availability of oxygen will not be sufficient. Then our muscle cells will undergo anaerobic respiration. So we can look what happens in our muscle cells during anaerobic respiration. So the first step is what? First step is safe. What happens? Six carbon compound glucose is broken down into three carbon compound pyruvate. Then what happened to the pyruvate? This pyruvate again in the absence of Oxygen is broken down into lactic acid plus energy. And here also only less amount of energy, about 2 ATP molecules are produced. So pyruvate broken down to give lactic acid and energy. Okay. So our body during vigorous physical exercise uh, it will get only le le less amount of energy. It will be utilizing that amount of energy. And when it is utilizing that energy, along with that, lactic acid is deposited in our muscle cells. 
and the accumulation of this lactic acid in our muscle cells will cause muscular cramps that means cramp means what painful contraction of the muscles so the accumulation of this lactic acid will cause muscular cramps you might have seen some athletes and all suffering from muscular cramps when they are working continuously so what we can do during this time uh, we can uh, take a hot water bath or we can take a massage so during hot water bath or massage what happens the blood flow will increase and the, when the blood flow increases what happens uh, more oxygen will be supplied into the cells and when, when this oxygen enters the cell that oxygen will break down this lactic acid into carbon dioxide and water so that lactic acid is removed from the cell and we will get a relief from muscular cramps okay so aerobic and anaerobic respiration first step is same it is taking place in cytoplasm second step is different in uh, normally in our cells uh, carbon dioxide water and more energy is produced in yeast uh, ethanol and carbon dioxide and less amount of energy is produced in our muscle cells lactic acid and uh, less amount of energy is produced so what is the similarity between this aerobic and anaerobic respiration similarity is that both are releasing energy by the uh, by breaking down the glucose then what are the differences? One is aerobic respiration takes place in the presence of oxygen. And aerobic respiration takes place in the absence of oxygen. And what is another uh, difference? End products of aerobic respiration is carbon dioxide, water and energy. And end products of anaerobic respiration is either ethanol or lactic acid. Then uh, more amount of energy is produced in aerobic respiration. Less amount of energy is produced in anaerobic respiration. And another difference is that in aerobic respiration we can see complete breakdown of glucose to release energy. But in anaerobic respiration only partial breakdown occurs. Okay. So uh, we can meet in next class. I hope you understand all this. Have a nice time.